What does it mean to live a finite, fragile life in an infinite, eternal universe? The Earth is one planet around one star amongst 400 billion stars in one galaxy amongst two trillion galaxies in a small patch of the universe, right? So we're definitely small. We're just collections of atoms, right? Some of them are as old as time, pretty much, and some of them were the other ones, everything else other than the hydrogen in our bodies was made in stars, right? So, so we, we all cooked over billions of years. And we're in this pattern that can think. So suddenly, as the great Carl Sagan said, you have a means by which the universe understands and explores itself, which is us. And that sounds unlikely when you put it like that, <laughs> that you can have a few things that were cooked in the hearts of stars, you stick them together in a pattern and suddenly it has some ideas and starts writing music and, and art and things. That's, that's quite difficult to comprehend, right? But that, what, that happened here, we know that because we're sat here having a conversation.